soft pastels, otherwise known as chalk. You know what kids draw on the sidewalk with? Chalk. This is chalk, but more expensive. Now soft pastels, otherwise known as chalk, has been a pain in my ass for the longest time. And in this video, we are going to overcome that. The powder residue it leaves behind, the breathing it in, the mess. I'm getting flashbacks. Enough with the dramatics, listen. I don't like these. I never have liked soft pastels, but I'm gonna try my best. Because someone sent me these amazing quality Selenier oil pastels, otherwise known as Demi Pastels Assortis. Thank you so much to the person who sent me this package. Let's go ahead and open the box, make some drawings, and not um, pass out. Go ahead and get your mask on and uh, meet me at the desk. <laughs> Look how pretty this is! These are Sennelier Soft Pastels. If you're just as confused as I was, these are not oil pastels. These are soft pastels. These are pretty much chalk, but super, super pigmented chalk. Let's go ahead and open the box because uh, I'm excited. Gentle, gentle. Oh, I love opening boxes. This is the back. It has a whole bunch of reading. They got swatches on the side. They probably got them on the booklet too. Hold on. <laughs> the booklet. It's so pretty. What is this? What is this? Okay, so if you're if your soft pastel's getting doy, I guess you can rub it on some sandpaper. I don't know. Are you ready? Why does my hand look white compared to the rest of my arm? What is that? My hands are a little ashy, I guess. <laughs> what? So the little, so the, I don't, okay. Look at this. Isn't that something? They look wet, but I know they're not. Does this not look like a piece of clay? So I don't know what to do with them. Um, Which one do I swatch though? I'm gonna do this one. This one's such a pretty color. Oh my gosh. Ready? Oh, oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh my gosh. What? What? See, the chalk pastels that I used a long time ago, they, they were Prismacolor chalk pastels, and they were nasty. They were so bad, they didn't, they, they did not act like that. Hold on, I'm gonna try this purple. It's like a periwinkle. Oh, okay, I might have spoken too soon. Nope, okay, what the hell? Oh, that's probably what the sandpaper is for. Okay, well, it's not doing much. Okay, well, that's confusing. Why did that one look so good, but then this one looked like trash? Let me try this blue one. Okay, that one's decent, but not as good as this one. Let's try this green one. Oh, damn. Like, some colors are good, some colors are bad. I'm confused. And, like, not like this one's not good at all. Let's go ahead and get drawn. Let's do a fancy shot. Ooh. Ah. Okay, let's draw. Well, hello. So where do I begin? Because this is a long process. Got my pastel paper that I've had for probably 15 years. Got my reference as my niece. Hello, little baby. Y'all, this pastel that I chose for the sketch, it was so rough. It's it, This is probably the hardest pastel that's in this whole batch. It started scratching the paper, but I don't give up. So I started sketching it out. I wiped it around because I wanted to tone the paper, but I, I heard that was also not a good thing because of the oils in your fingers, but I didn't have anything else to really mix it up with. I also could erase, so I, I took advantage of the eraser a lot, which I also shouldn't have done because it damaged the tooth of the paper. You can't really do this with chalk pastels because the chalk pastel needs a tooth to the paper to the surface to really cling to anyways i got like a, a rough draft going as you can see and i started going in with some color i'm not gonna lie this blue that i'm using right now kind of came in clutch to really establish some of the dark features and slowly but surely i started to establish you know the the likeness a little bit i wanted to keep it loose colorful but because i was so confused on how these things blend and layer i was getting you know i was getting confused and kind of frustrated because i didn't know whether to blend with the with the pastel or blend with my finger so i started to overblend. i liked how it looked at this point you know it's kind of painterly kind of funky looking but 
then I started to over blend. I started to use my finger and, and kind of darken areas that didn't need to be dark. By this point, the excitement of using these pastels wore off completely. This little area is where it set me off because I was trying to lighten it, but nothing was attaching it. So I started to use an eraser and try to blend with my finger. Ooh, I, yep. <laughs> That's how I, mm hmm So I tried again. And then I gave up again. Yep, it was just not working. Something about it was just not it. And then I tried again. And, it, you know, the likeness was just not there at all. But, you know, I kind of liked the colors I was using. It was kind of funky. And then I overdid it again. I just overdid the colors, the blocking. It just wasn't working anymore. And I just gave up <laughs> again. And this time, I am going to rip this paper out and scrunch it up. I don't think you can tell how heated I was. I was like, I really wanted it to work. So I ended up switching out the paper. This is a bigger pad. This is just drawing paper. It's not pastel paper. And I wanted to see if maybe using a different paper and it being bigger would help because these pastels are very thick and chunky. So you can't really do detail in the beginning. And right off the bat, I could tell that these pastels already cling to the paper a little bit more. And it's so weird because this is just drawing paper. This is not pastel paper. So I was a little confused. But it was working a little bit better, but I still could not get a likeness. It's probably because I haven't drawn in a hot minute. And I'm also not used to these pastels at all. Because I gave up. Once again, back to the drawing board. Let me just do something funky. Let me do, you know, a little bald floating head man that I always do when I test things out and you know what this kind of worked it loosened me up it, it made me want to do something a little less structural and more fun something that I'm like more comfortable with because this is a brand new uh, medium I mean I've used this before let me let me not lie I've used this once or twice before and it was okay I wasn't I wasn't the best at it but I felt like I was more in the experimenting phase when I was using these so I was very loose I was very new and you know I was easy to adapt to new material now I feel like I'm so stuck in my ways I don't really like to divert my way around different mediums if I know I don't like them but that's a struggle that's a struggle for all artists we get too comfortable anyways let me I'm gonna let y'all finish this So as you can see, I went in with a very painterly technique this time around, and I really ended up liking it. The, my, my main struggle now was the background. I did not know how to get a good background. How do you guys keep a clean background using chalk pastels? I also sprayed it. So this is the finished product. I, I ended up erasing a lot of the background because it looked funky, but I like this, but I know I could do better. You know what I mean? So I ended up doing another one. That's me, self-portrait time. Y'all, it's been so long since I've done a self-portrait. JK, anyways, I went in very loosely with the, you know, with the sketch. I didn't know what direction I was going to do, actually. So I didn't know if I was going to make it super funky or realistic. Spoiler alert, I did end up going the more realistic route. Um, I don't know why. I'm not even good at realism, but... You know, this sketch was nice, so I was like, you know, let's let's mess it up. Let's dig, let's get nasty. Ooh, let me backtrack real quick before I hear people in the comments. This is not realism. It's just more realistic. Okay, let me just let me just clarify that. Anyway, I'm gonna need to say something because the picture that I used for the reference was very bright. Um, it is my winter shade, unfortunately, so I'm not as dark as I want to be, unfortunately. And that kind of translated into this drawing and the reference photo. I try to stick with the reference photo as much as possible, but, and I was actually gonna do a black background just like the reference photo, but I feel like it would have made me look even more pale. Sometimes I forget I could edit reference photos, but I get so caught up in just like wanting to go ahead and like hurry up and do something that I forget that I could do that. So I guess it's just the pain of losing the summer tan in the winter time. But I started tanning, so. Your girl's gonna be very dark here pretty soon. And we don't talk about clothes, so let me just say I rushed them and you call it a day. Look beyond the clothes. Oh, 
Oh, the hair. The hair was the easiest part of this whole drawing because I just, I just winged it. First of all, I just winged it. And I'm like, y'all ain't going to pay attention to the hair. Don't look at the hair. It's a little blue in it. What you do need to pay attention to is the ear because, damn, this is rough. First it was too small and now it's a little too big and it just looks funny. Anyways, this is, it's all done now. What do y'all think? But before you go, make sure to stay tuned for my final thoughts of Chuck Pastels. <laughs> Are y'all ready? <laughs> Back up. Here it is. Hello. Does it look like me? And here's the other one. If you want to see what that looks like. Shall we get into my final thoughts? Of these soft chalk pastels. Pros. They're not sticky. And you know what? For the most part, these pastels were... Opaque. They're really opaque. I mean, this chalk. Most of the colors can really stain the paper really well. What I would say is another pro to these pastels is that they're very thick. And why I like the thickness of any kind of pastel is because it stops you from making too much detail, especially in the beginning. It will stop making you go into like the detail. You have to really put on layers and layers to find your forms. That's what I really like about the thickness. Now let's get into my cons because there's a lot of cons to these, uh, Pastels, chalk pastels, soft pastels. Now, quick disclosure before I get into my cons. I've only used chalk pastels, soft pastels once or twice before. So technically, this is my first time using really good oil pastel, chalk pastels, which means I need to practice. This is my third time, fourth time, fifth time, sixth time, really trying to attempt something that I'm kind of proud of, and I still don't really know how, how it works. Now, let's get into the cons. These type of pastels are suffocating mentally physically all of the above for the most part i feel like i was breathing this in smelling it it doesn't smell like anything but i felt like my nose was getting chalked up at the end of the drawing i felt like i was talking like that <laughs> the next con for this to say it's extra soft i want to know what regular soft feels like because why are some of these oil pastels harder than a rock I whipped out a whole bunch of different sandpaper to really grind down because I'm like, why are some of these colors so hard? I felt like I was ripping the paper. Some of the colors are really, really hard. And I feel like that's maybe just the pigment, the type of pigment that's in them. But it was very weird. Sometimes I would use a color that just goes on like cream. Like it's so creamy, so vibrant. You know, it just goes on super soft. And then I use like a darker color or just another color. And it's like, it's like I'm ripping like carving into the paper with it. What's that about? I need to invest in paper. That's one of the cons. You have to invest in a good paper. You would have to trial and error a whole bunch of different paper for you to really find a paper that works for your kind of art. Now I could do a whole bunch of abstract with these oil pastels, these chalk pastels. And that brings me to my next point. You have to get a good paper because there is no permanence to this artwork. I could quite literally, oh, yeah. Take this drawing and go like, shh, smear it. Right now, there is no permanence. So you would have to also invest in a very good sealant. You would have to seal it. If the ceiling fan was going hard enough, I wouldn't have a drawing if I woke up in the morning. Another problem I had with these pastels is that you couldn't really layer. There was no texture, obviously, because it's chalk. You, I mean, you can't really, but you really can't layer. You almost need to wipe away and then scrape again. Anyways, I'm done ranting. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys try something new. If you have any questions, concerns, please let me know down below. If you have any suggestions on what I should do next, also let me know down below. What do you think about the drawing? You guys have a creative day. I'll see y'all next time.